In this episode, you'll learn what Project Jigsaw slash the new module system in Java 9 is and how to get started with it. In your IDE, create a new plain Java project. Make sure to choose Java 9 as the project SDK and then call the project something like Jigsaw. Now, the first thing you need to do is to create two new modules. Imagine you want to program a Bitcoin trading platform. So the first module will be something that shows your web pages. Create it and call it web. And then it gets added to the project and you can see it in the project tree. The second module could be a service module, something that has all the classes to work with Bitcoins. And in fact, create a new Java class in a package of your liking and call it Bitcoin service. Create a method inside the new class called mine to mine some Bitcoins, which in your case simply returns a string saying, I just mined some Bitcoins. Then in the web module, create a class that's called something like trading app, again, in a package of your liking and give the new class a main method. And inside simply print out new Bitcoin service dot mine. And this won't work just yet because the web module, the idea, IntelliJ idea module needs a dependency on the service module but you can easily fix that by hitting Alt Enter a couple of times. Good. Now run the program, wait a sec, and in the console, you'll see the string, I just mined some Bitcoins. Now things get interesting. In the service module, select the source folder and insert a module info file, which turns this module into a proper Java 9 Jigsaw module. And you can call the module anything you'd like. Service is fine for this exercise, or you could choose the package name or whatever. Now, when you recompile the project, everything still works as expected, no compile errors. But what happens when you turn the web module into a Java 9 module as well? Let's find out. Go to the web module. Again, create a module info file. Give it, again, any name you want and then try to recompile the project. And you'll get an error message. More specifically, in the trading app class, you cannot instantiate the Bitcoin service anymore. And the error message says, module service does not export it. Okay, so go to the service module info file and write exports com.marcobila.service, which will make that package and only that package not sub packages available to any other modules. Try to compile again and you get another error message. And this time it says that the package is declared, but that your web module does not read it. So go to the web module in file and write requires service and note that you don't require a specific package here, but the name of another module of the service module, which exports the package you want. And now try to recompile the application again. And this time it works. And you can even run it. And it's still running as expected. Great. So the main takeaway is that as soon as you add a module info file to your project or slash module, it will turn it into a proper Java 9 module, meaning you need to care about the exports and requires and whatnot. Otherwise, your code won't work. And as that might be a bit cumbersome to do manually, you're going to have a look at how to do that automatically with existing build tools like Maven or Gradle in the next episode. So let's get right after it.